what's an obvious way of getting into a building? Well, the front door, of course. But let's just say that wasn't an option. What would you choose next? The back door? A window, maybe? Well, let's just say neither of them were available. Let's just say that the place you were trying to get into was so full, filled beyond maximum capacity, that the only way to get in there was from the roof. After Jesus recruited his first four disciples, he went town to town preaching the gospel of the kingdom. And everywhere he went, miracles would follow him. There was an incident where he healed a man with an unclean spirit, where he healed Peter's mother-in-law who was sick and with a fever. Many ill and demon-possessed people were brought before him and he healed them. There was a man with leprosy who was cleansed. And our story continues with how a paralyzed man was healed. But in order for him to see Jesus, he had to be lowered from the roof because the place where Jesus was teaching was so full. This is the roof to my studio. And as a business owner, I have to come up here from time to time to check leaks, to check the air conditioning, and just to make sure that everything's okay. I have found several random items up here. I have found clothes. I have found empty bottles and cans. I have found diapers. I even found a bicycle up here once. And of course, artwork. It took four of the man's friends to be able to lift him on his pallet up onto the roof and once they got him on the roof they dug a hole and were able to lower him before jesus now these men were so convinced that they were willing to destroy a complete stranger's house because they believed that jesus would heal him and when the man was lowered before jesus jesus saw their faith and said this my son your sins are forgiven. Wait, wait just a minute. This man is speaking blasphemy. No one can forgive sins but God alone. Really? Which is easier to say? Your sins are forgiven or take up your pallet and walk? Well, this will show you that the Son of Man has the authority to forgive sins. Son, take up your pallet and walk. And the man got up in front of everyone and walked on out. Everyone was shocked and amazed at what they just saw and began to praise God. After this, Jesus would get up and continue going town after town. More and more people would follow him and he would teach and heal them. See, sometimes it takes a bold move of faith to really get you to that next step. Wherever you may be right now in life, whether you, you may feel stuck you may feel trapped. You may know where you want to go, but circumstances, people, and barriers stand in your way. And sometimes breakthrough really comes when you make your own path. Jesus, he had to be lowered from the roof from where Jesus was teaching. There was an incident where he cleaned. Here we have a substitute for the man 